Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck news video. We've got a new Steam Deck, Steam desktop client beta, which improves a couple of things, including improving input for the Nintendo Switch. And we're gonna get into it in this video. But first, before we do it, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you want more Steam Deck content on your YouTube homepage every single day, because we post multiple times a day. And also go check out my link in the video description for all my favorite number uno Steam Deck accessories to up your Steam Deck game and just make your Steam Deck even better, right? Cases, SSDs, um, docks, thumbstick covers, just about everything, battery packs, cables you can use for your Steam Deck to charge it at the fastest rate possible. Go check it out. I've always, I'm always adding stuff to the list. Video, uh, link, to, link is in the video description. Anyways, let's get into it without further ado. All right, guys, sorry if I'm a little bit slow in today's videos. I'm actually on a health fast. I'm not eating anything for three days. I'm like two days down and I'm feeling a little bit weird. You know, my brain isn't fully caught up with the fact, with the fact that I'm not eating for another day. So if I make some mistakes, repeat myself, blabber on, that is why. Anyways, health issues aside, um, Steam Deck and desktop Steam Beta improves Steam input for Nintendo controllers. This comes from Gaming on Linux. I love his little icon. It's a little penguin there with... A Steam Deck under his armpits. Um, a fresh Steam Bay is out for Steam Deck and, um, and desktop Steam with a bigger focus on Steam input improvements and some big picture mode fixes too. Once again, the change log is the same across both since both clients now share nearly everything thanks to the desktop client now using the new big picture mode. Dude, I am so freaking happy that he brought the big picture mode to the desktop client and that includes on Windows. So you could almost have that Steam Deck feel on your Windows install. And if you're like me who dual boots Windows and Steam OS on their Steam Deck, I could literally boot into Windows and play all the games that I can't play on Steam OS, like Modern Warfare 2, like Warzone, like Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, um, Xbox Game Pass, and do it all within the confines of the beautiful Steam Deck interface. And that is a win. I'm so happy they did it, thanks to Steam. In fact, thanks to Valve, I should say. But yeah, um, so let's take a look at some of the, the change log here. So Steam Input. They reworked the layout of the mode settings page to show more content, nice. Added upper grips as an option to mode shifts, for mode shifts, nice, okay. Okay, that's good. Filtered mode shift button options to, to only show available buttons based on the controller type. Ah, that's a nice little quality of life improvement there. That's good if you're using external controllers, right? Fixed cord activator options for Xbox and Xbox Elite controller types. Nice. Improved layout preview for Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, left, right pair. So good improvements for Nintendo controllers. Fixed the capture button icon not being displayed for Joy-Con pair. Nice. Good, good, good. So you can take a screenshot on the Steam Deck pretty easily with the capture button. It just works like it does on the Switch, which is pretty cool now. Fix the Switch Pro layout preview, not showing the gyro. Okay, Nintendo Switch SLSR buttons now show up as bumpers for single Joy-Cons or grip buttons for a Joy-Con pair. In Joy-Con, individual pair gyro now displays and functions properly. Now on the big picture mode, on desktop mode in the Steam Deck, um, they hide hide the cur they now hide the cursor when in gamepad navigation mode in big picture i've noticed that pop up a few times but the cursor hovers over the big picture mode it's a little bit annoying but glad they fixed it fixed the big picture mode keyboard window not exiting when closed um okay good fixed an issue with detecting game windows on linux ah now i know that's been plaguing a lot of people um and obviously yes there you go pretty cool huh and if you want to take your steam deck to the next level you want to make your Steam Deck look like a Nintendo Switch, then Deep Brand have you covered with this new Switch like skin that they've made for it and they're trolling Nintendo with. Deep Brand does what Nintendo don't is what their little catchphrase was. So there you go guys, a little Steam Deck beta update for you with some good improvements, quality of life improvements that make things a little bit more easier, especially if you're using third party controllers like the Joy-Cons um, and making the Joy-Cons work as good as they do on the Switch itself. I bl the Steam Deck just gets better and better guys. <laughs> Anyways guys, have a great day. I, w I love you, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I'm Blaze2K, okay. we cover Steam Deck every day on the channel. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified. And also like I said, check my link in the description for all my favorite Steam Deck accessories. Take care. I love you. Goodbye. See you in the next video. Love you.